Well, basically, um, when we came up with the design for the school library, really the, ch the children were central to it. We wanted something that was going to really excite them and, and get their imagination going. And um, the arrival of a double-decker bus certainly did that. So right from the very beginning, we've had them involved, and they've been involved in the actual design and are putting the library together and choosing what books and things are going to be in it, to doing a mural on the outside. So I think that they just feel total ownership of the whole library. And um, what's been really great about the library is the outside space. We've built a really lovely garden, and at break times, it, they just come in droves, and they sit there and they lie on the grass, and they just grab books out of the box. And what we found is, if we don't put the box of books out, they're coming, they're coming hammering the door and ask why not. <laughs> so I, I think what's just been lovely is just walking through the school and just the amount of children who've just come up and said, we've been on the bus today and it's just brilliant. And um, yeah, just that overriding joy, actually, being in a library, it's great. For, for children to have um, an active, vibrant library, somewhere that's engaging uh, within a school. And of course, uh, traditionally and over time, uh, the libraries have uh, perhaps not received the attention they should within the school. But it's clear to all of us involved in education that uh, levels of literacy, children's engagement with uh, creative ideas, uh, comes through an engagement in, in a lively library. So it's absolutely crucial uh, to, to the life of a school and the creativity of the children that work with. Jo, one of the finalists. Very proud, very happy, um, and glad a primary school library is getting some publicity as well. Okay. Yes, uh, school libraries. It, it, I think a well-designed library makes all the difference when children need to become independent learners and uh, find their own way and be confident. Oh, it's amazing. It's wonderful. I think it's really lovely to have some recognition for what's been two years of hard work. Um, and we're very, very proud of the school. So to get into the finals is just fantastic. The icing on the cake of it. Um, we ha had them very much in mind with the design, so there are lots of different areas. They've got comfy sofa area, they've got the formal seating area to be working in, lots of little nooks and crannies. So although it's a big area, they have their own little space as well, so they feel very much part of the school in the middle of the, everything that's going on. It's absolutely essential to be able to draw the kids into a lively, exciting place. A lot of thought has to go into that space to make it inviting for them and wanting them to use it and use it appropriately. Um, so I think it's absolutely essential. It, we were very lucky because we were able to we were redesigning the whole school, so our, our library was able to go at the very centre of the of, of the school, which I think is just maybe quite a contrast to what happens in other places. So the visitors to our school see that, and it, it is the central part to the school. But ha keeping the, the visibility high, um, I think, is important for the whole school community, and it allows um, it, yeah, the design of it obviously to, to make a far bigger impact. So if you can, but obviously you can't always decide where to put your library. Um, so I think it, it's that high visual impact and creating an environment where lots of different people are happy to go and spend time. I think those are two really important things. It's at the centre of learning, isn't it, in terms of um, accessing information, and it's something which is there for students beyond the classroom. You know, we, we don't just learn in the classroom, so being able to have a, a place where lots of different people are wanting to go to, whether or not it's a class-based activity or whether it's... Um, you know, after school, before school, um, it's, it's just it's great to have people happy to be in there um, and, and to feel confident and proud of it. Just lovely to see you. We are very pleased that Demco are on board for this award. Without you, we couldn't do any of the important work that we're doing. School library design is so important for schools generally. It's already in, so uh, we're already working on, on having Kate uh, replicate this model uh, in another school. But I think the message is don't let money uh, be uh, any kind of barrier to your ambition. Um, with the right kind of people uh, and the right kind of goodwill and commitment, then things can be achieved and we can engage children in, in reading um, and develop that love. Fantastic for the school. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, uh, it's an accolade that will just add further energy to the children in terms of their uh, enthusiasm for reading and pride at what's been achieved as a community. Um, I just, I kind of feel that I put, I put the bus in for the award because I just wanted to really thank everybody who'd given so much time and I wanted to be an award for them really for all the time they've given. But also what it means is um, it's been so successful, the children just love it so much, I just like to spread it. I want to take it to other schools, I want to, you know, tell everyone about it. So to have an award like this just really kind of puts a real stamp and some fuel behind that. So. Yeah, maybe for me. Now it comes to the same thing. Um, 
This is just really the icing on the cake for, um, as I said, I feel so humble and so thankful for everybody who gave their time and their expertise and their advice and it was amazing and we all made, we all made really good friends on this project as well. I think um, even though we all worked really hard, I don't think anybody looks back and says, oh god, I wish I hadn't got involved in that. <laughs> so, so really this is just a real bonus for us. Um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Dr. Hopkins because without him it just wouldn't have happened at all. Um, a huge thank you to James Smith for his brilliant, brilliant design and all the time that he, he gave us. Massive thank you to Rachel Bannerman and her beautiful garden design that went really beyond anything I could have hoped for. Um, oh, there's so many other people that I could thank. Should I get that list out again? <laughs> but um, really for everybody involved and thank you very much to the SLA and Demco for, for giving us this award because it means so much to us. It's amazing. Thank you.